The Primer, A Guide to the Truth, by Jivan David Budu. This book is my gift to humanity, and as such, will always be available free of charge to anyone willing to read it. Under no circumstances should any individual, group, or organization gain monetary profits from distributing this piece of literature. Introduction Humanity is such a beautiful species. We have traversed hundreds of thousands of years, learned to have more control over our environments than any other species that ever existed on this planet, and have managed to send members of our species off of the planet entirely. Despite all of this, our species has a disease. I am not speaking of bacterial or supposed viral infection. We have been suffering from a human parasitic infection that is not only draining the products of our creativity and labor from us, but they are also ensuring that the majority of our species remain woefully ignorant about the universe within which we exist and our history as a species. If I were to ask you what an atom is, would you be able to answer that question accurately? If you cannot, don't you think it is strange that the information has been available for decades and yet the vast majority of our species doesn't have a clue about the building blocks from which we are built? What if I were to ask you, where does our money come from? Most of us are completely oblivious to this knowledge and that has to change. Due to this collective ignorance, I decided to use my decades of studying and contemplating physics and all of its branches we call science to provide a primer for the average person. If the total sum of all the knowledge humanity has acquired over thousands of years is 100%, the average person today possesses less than 1% of that information. Some might say that the average person doesn't need that information to get by on a day-to-day -day basis. To those people I say that there has never been a time when people needed to understand more of what our collective knows than today. The fact that people are so unaware of the foundations of existence has allowed human parasites to manipulate the truth for their own personal gains. These parasites have used ideologies to control people, money to enslave people, control of information to bring about wars to kill people, education to poison the minds of future generations food to make people unhealthy, medicines to deal with the illnesses they are mostly responsible for, and all of the above to devolve our species towards a more primitive existence. We are no longer a species that works to control our impulses so we can achieve the best of ourselves. Instead, we are addicted to products of the parasites that bring no benefit to our lives and make us less likely to act in ways that benefit us as individuals, our families, communities, nations, and species. So how can we change this? Knowledge is the ultimate solution. Think about having a fear of something. The only way to get rid of that fear is to expose yourself to that which makes you afraid. If heights terrify you, facing being up high gives your brain the knowledge that being up high didn't have the horrific outcome your brain predicted it would. The more times you expose your brain to that stimulus, the more knowledge your brain has to develop a new pathway for thinking about heights. Eventually, you will overwrite the previous fear-based pathway with the new knowledge-based one you worked hard to establish. Knowledge is the pathway to seeing the world more clearly and less emotionally, while truth is the instrument that ensures the knowledge you are gaining hasn't been corrupted and falsified. Without a life governed and informed by the truth, we may as well be primates. This book is about bringing our species together to look at ourselves from a perspective that is without emotion, to see what processes function in the universe to bring about life on our planet, and how those processes transition that life, allowing you to exist today. Don't worry, you won't need to be brilliant in math or science to gain the knowledge I'm talking about. I have busted my mind to develop analogies and metaphors to explain these things without any mathematical equations or complex scientific terminology. You will find no magic, woo-woo, or other nonsensical drivel used by parasites to sound profound and mystical. There is absolutely no mysticism here, only an examination of the physical world we exist as a part of and how it functions at its most basic levels. We start by examining all of the basic building blocks of our existence, which are space, energy, mass, time, and gravity. And when I say energy, I mean the actual stuff from which we, and everything we interact with, are built. To understand this, 
All you need to do is imagine a bowl of water and visualize manipulating it. Does that sound difficult to you? I'm guessing not. I'll guide you the rest of the way. From here we will examine the beginning of the universe and how important that beginning was to everything that followed. After we get through that section, we will go through the formation of the earth and the processes that allowed the molecules of life to form. We'll follow these molecules to the formation of cells and to them becoming the plants and animals that have populated the globe for hundreds of millions of years. After which will be an examination of the most important transitory period to us, the roughly six million year journey that caused primates to mutate into a completely separate species called humanity. From there, our focus will remain on our species as we look at the human brain, mating habits, biologically driven creation of culture, religion and our need for God, the two real entities humanity has worshipped as God since the beginning of our existence, human parasites and their historical activities, technology, media, and finally how we can build and maintain healthy, thriving societies based on all of this understanding. My goal is to help our species raise the level of knowledge each of us has to something significantly more than the minuscule amount the average person currently possesses. It is my belief that once this knowledge has filtered through a significant percentage of our population, real changes can be achieved. Ultimately, I want the power of our species to be in the hands of the people, not a small governing body that actually describes us as useless eaters. This book is not about providing absolute answers and precise definitions, outside of the examination of recent historical events. It is about having a general foundational framework that you can use to visualize highly complex systems and see yourself more accurately as a part of them. In the same way the best religious texts use metaphors of the fantastic so individuals could see the larger scales of reality from a perspective their minds could manage, this book uses the same tools to examine the physics of the universe and life. In order to achieve this, I am issuing a challenge to anyone who reads this book. First, prove you can accurately represent what I am describing. This means no cherry-picking a section to take out of context and slander me with childish name-calling. This is a very large hypothesis, and selectively targeting one area to further a parasitic agenda won't work. Instead, actually show you grasp my ideas in their entirety, whether you agree or disagree with them, and find your own way of explaining what I'm describing. If you manage to take on the challenge, my prediction is that while you are free to disagree with and criticize me, you will find it difficult to do so. I could be wrong, but we will see. I understand that the challenge is difficult, but learning significant things such as everything covered in this book is never going to be easy. Most people today expect quick and simple answers to grand questions, and often those answers never get investigated, which allows human parasites to lie and manipulate information, granting them more control over each of us. It took me nearly 30 years to acquire all of the knowledge in this book and think all of it over to the point where I could hopefully describe it to the average person. Only time will tell if I will be successful but I'm betting on humanity having the ability to grasp all of this with a little bit of work. So what will you need to gain all of this understanding? Just a ready imagination and a quiet place to contemplate. Over time, the goal is to maximize human potential for everyone and to blossom human life with no need for the unnecessary population control measures currently being used. The more humans, the better. And when we can, we will spread the life our planet seeded across the universe. So, without any further preamble, let us begin our journey of understanding.